Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing functions in C++. In previous video, we have seen some uh, coding exercises based on functions, right? Now we have discussed function overloading. So we will see in this video uh, exercise based on function overloading, right? And what is that exercise? You have to write down a program to find area of different different shapes, right? Square, rectangle and circle by calling a function area i would say by calling an overloaded function area so here you got it area is a function that would be overloaded here in your program right so the name of this uh, function would be same area but you have to define this function three times one for calculating area of square area of rectangle and area of circle right i hope you know how to find out area of square it's side into side and right? you have to just give one uh, let's suppose one uh, integer variable side would be int and this area of uh, square would return integer value right so return type would be int and argument you will pass would be int second for calculating area of uh, rectangle that would accept two argument length and width of rectangle that would be in double and it will return a double value right area of circle it will also take one argument that will be double that is radius pi r square right the area of circle and it will return double return type of that would be also double so three uh, you have to define this area function three times right but name would be same i hope you got my question right so now pause the video and try this out so i hope you have done this now we will define that area function three times right so let's take first prototype or function declaration so one would be int name would be area and it will take one argument of type int to calculate area of square second would be of type double and name would be same and it will take two argument double and double to calculate area of rectangle right and third is also return type is same double name is same area and it will take only one argument of type double this is to uh, calculate area of circle right okay now we are calling these function in main we'll call this let's define these function first right so first is int area and in definition you have to take a variable name also that is compulsory like int side or any variable take a b c x y z s any variable name you can take right and it will simply return how to calculate area of square that length into length or the side into side or you can use that power function you can include that cmath library and from there you can use power function to calculate power but here i'm just using simply side into side that's it right so same like here we take a variable int a variable square underscore side and from user we will take input and simply we will pass that area this square side here right but see it is returning integer values so you have to uh, store that value or fetch that value in an integer variable right so let's take here int square side as well as a area of square this variable name area of square any variable name you can take and area of square equal to area and square we will here square side will pass so whatever this function will return will we are going to store that value into this integer variable and we simply print this see out area of square is simply print this one you got it so till now let's run this and see if this function is working or not 4 and area of square is 16 yeah it is working right now let's define another function double name is same area and here we will take like double l double w 
and it will return how to uh, calculate area of rectangle length into width so l into w that's it obviously we will pass these two arguments while calling so first let's take double length comma width two variables right and as well as suppose we are take another variable area of rectangle now after calling area of square let's ask from user to enter length and width of a rectangle right and now area of rect equal to we just call this function area and we'll pass whatever the length user has entered and the width right and simply print area of rectangle right now for same let's take one more uh, variable radius and one variable area of circle radius and area of circle so let's enter that radius now area of circle is equal to let's call this area and let's pass just the radius and after that print area of circle return zero now let's define the third function also area area and third one is for area of circle so let's take a variable name here r simply or radius also you can take and area of circle is pi r square so you, you need to take that value of pi so let's take a variable here double pi is equal to it's fixed 3.14 we'll take this one only and now return pi r square pi into r into r that's it let's run this and see what output you are getting here first enter one side of square 4 area of square is 16 now enter length and width of rectangle so 3.4 and 4.5 area of rectangle is 15.3 enter radius of a circle let's take 3 so area of circle is 28.26 right so this is this is like one example of using overloaded function right area name is same you don't have to uh, remember like maybe if the function overloaded uh, overloading is not there then you have to write on area underscore circle area underscore rectangle area underscore square like this right and whenever you will call then for area of square you have to call area underscore square if you want to find out area of rectangle then area underscore rectangle but using function overloading there is no need to remember the name exact name of the function because name is same area just the type of argument and uh, types of argument and number of arguments the parameter you pass that is different right so i hope you got this thing if you are not getting this it's okay take screenshot of this coding or i'll just paste this in uh, description box or maybe in comment i'll pin this comment right and dry run this write down on a piece of paper and dry run this right and also try out different different example of this type using function overloading it's not like that you got this example and you are done with function overloading no try out different different examples of function overloading how you can use your program use uh, function overloading in your program okay now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care